Welcome to my first of a few videos that I'll be sharing with you on how to use Comfy UI and run Stable Diffusion using the latest RTX 50 series Black L GPU. From what I know, this solution should work for any 50 series cards, be it 5070, 5070 Ti, 5080 or the 5090. So let's cut to the chase. This is not a tutorial on Comfy UI, so there are tons of such tutorials flying around and you can search for them on YouTube. This is for folks who are familiar with it. So maybe you've used a 30 or 40 series GPU previously and uh, you've decided to make an upgrade just like me. So I was using a RTX 4050 notebook GPU with a 6GB VRAM card for about 2 years during the start of the AI boom. Now it's time for an upgrade as my car is getting old and I thought about grabbing a 40 series GPU since the 50 series is out but there is none for me so I bought a 50 series Ti instead. Knowing through my research from tons of uh, Reddit and GitHub posts that the, uh, there's lots of errors regarding this uh, Blackwell cards when installing Comfy UI so some of the errors that we will encounter includes this which uh, during your installation or during the generation of your first image you will encounter this click text and code error or CUDA error no kernel image blah 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 what it simply means is that you are not using the right PyTorch version for an RTS 50 series card which means that uh, it runs on either PyTorch 2.6 or 2.7 for CUDA 2 kit 12.8 as of uh, early March 2025. So as a background, to put it into layman terms, because it's not uh, because I'm not an expert as well for the RTX 50 series, be it 5070, 5080, or 5090, uh, it Comfy UI can only run based on CUDA 2K 12.8 only as of early March 2025. So in the future, if there is other versions that the 50 series can run, then uh, this statement will not be true anymore. So, and uh, you need a PyTorch version that supports this CUDA 2 kit version in order for your 50 series RTX to start working on your Comfy UI. So in short, if you are not installing the right PyTorch version, meaning 2.6 or 2.7, then it is very likely that you will encounter this uh, click text and code error, CUDA error, no kernel image. So to make sure that you have no such errors, we will start running Comfy UI. Uh, so to start running Comfy UI using your 50 series GPU, first you need to open up the link on GitHub by the creator of Comfy UI called Comfy Anonymous. So uh, and look for the discussion on the NVIDIA 50 series Blackwell support thread. I'll put the link in the description below. Next, you might want to check that your GPU is indeed a RTX 50 series card. There are many ways to do it. I like to go and type the CMD on my search bar followed by NVIDIA-SMI and hit enter. And you can see my NVIDIA driver. Uh, I just find the latest studio driver to install. Studio studio drivers are a little more stable as compared to the other driver, I think it's the gaming driver. Uh, so uh, when I install this new GPU, I just go for the latest studio driver. And after that, I verify that my CUDA version is indeed 12.8. If it's not, then I'll just provide a link below on where to download and install your CUDA to make sure that it is indeed 12.8 version. So lastly is to verify that your GPU is indeed an RTX 50 series GPU. So in my case, it is an RTX 5070 Ti, uh, although you can't see it, but it is 16GB of VRAM. 
So once you're done with your verifying, we'll move on back to the discussion thread to look at the link to download the recommended Lightbe PyTorch 2.7 for CUDA 128, which means CUDA 2.8 version. So take note of the link below. You can actually see that there is an old package for Torch 2.6. Technically, you can download this version as well, and it will still work in theory as of early March 2025, of course. So there are still lots of unstable dependencies that I heard on Reddit and uh, GitHub during my research. So especially for the installation of Inside Phase for phase swapping and Triton Plus Sage Attention for faster generation on Flux and uh, 1.2.1. So, due to these complications, it seems that some works for PyTorch 2.7, some works for PyTorch 2.6, some claims that they can actually get it to work on either version, some say that none of these version works. So, we'll get to that soon because I have no idea how this works either at this moment. So, let's just talk about the basics first. If one fails, we can always download the other using the same exact same method. So after downloading the 2.7 version, we create a folder to house this file. You can name it whatever you like for this folder uh, and put the file in and extract it there. So I like to do some housekeeping by ensuring that there are not too many duplicate folders leading to actual content because I've encountered a case where I was unable to make another copy of Comfy UI because the path was too long and uh, since I'm not able to make a copy, I can't make a, a, a backup copy if I were to destroy my own uh, Comfy UI. So uh, I ended up resolving this issue by removing the additional layers of duplicate folders to so-called shorten the path and I can uh, make a copy of my Comfy UI again. Uh, so once you are done tidying up the folder, you can click into the main Comfy UI folder and see the required files. I won't be going through the main files as it is similar to what older versions have, but you might want to take note of the four different .bat files that you can run now using the uh, 2.7 pre-package. So obviously we can ignore the CPU.bat since we are using a 50 CV GPU. But you can actually try to run the FAST or the FAST FP16 accumulation files. I don't really know what's the diff except for some parameters that is different inside it. And uh, yeah, but the generation speed that I've tested seems to be just a little bit faster for the FP16.bat file. So other than that uh, you can just choose whatever functions well for you if you if you encounter this windows protected your pc notice you can just click on more info and run anyways as it's just your trustworthy windows doing some defensive maneuver for you so now after some fast forward now comfy ui will start to analyze your system and eventually you'll get the main ui so welcome back to Comfy UI using your all new RTX 50 series GPU. The interface should be much of a difference from your older version. And uh, as this isn't a Comfy UI tutorial, I won't be going through how to use it. In fact, for me, my last version that I used was pretty old. So I didn't, as I didn't update my Comfy UI for quite a while. So I guess there is some parts that I need to relearn on. So I can't give you a tutorial on that, the new Comfy UI interface. Uh, as usual, to run Comfy UI, you need a checkpoint. So uh, you can get it at Civit AI. I think I'll just leave the description below for you to grab a checkpoint, put it in the checkpoint folder, and uh, finally you will refresh the browser just like the usual way of running Comfy UI. QPROM for your first generation, and you are done. So at 20 iterations per second, for me, it is a leap and bound against my old laptop GPU, uh, which is an RTX 4050 notebook with 6GB of VRAM, and I find it pretty amazing. But of course, I think there is quite a lot 
of uh, modifications or dependencies that I can add or parameters I can add to make this faster but we'll just see how it goes as of this moment um, I'll try to upload more videos as I explore more of the uh, 3D series card and what are the problems that I will encounter as I install more and more uh, maybe nodes and models so hopefully I will show you how I resolve them uh, and instead of just showing the problem itself so take note that uh, there's tons of stuff that I'm not too sure about as well so uh, I'm just testing the water too uh, so be sure to do all your data backups before you try anything uh, new and uh, try not to break your comfy UI in the process. Uh, until then, I'll see you when I see you.